The film deals with a lot of different issues and uh, multiple layers on this. Uh, for you personally, what was the most attractive part about playing this role for you when you saw this script? I think, you know, you always gravitate toward a role where you feel like you have an opportunity to portray a, a character in transition and, and show a sort of growth from, you know, the start of the movie to the end. And this very easily could have been just sort of a cookie cutter role, just, you know, the person on the case. And, and I found like there was a lot more to it than that. And that's definitely a testament to, you know, the screenplay, our writer, Bill Dubuque. You know, it's a really complex, dense script. And when I read it, you know, I just had that sort of experience of reading it, thinking about it and reading it again because I just felt like, wow, there's a lot here and a lot to explore. So, you know, it really was about filling in the blanks of this character because you don't necessarily see all of her backstory, but there's a lot of amazing detail in terms of what you sort of slowly learn about her. Star-studded lineup in this film. A couple of Academy Award winners, a couple of Oscar nominees. Uh, what's that like getting to a set and being able to go shoulder to shoulder with some of the best actors on the entire planet? Yeah, you know, when you consider it, it really is crazy. I mean, if you were to put on a shelf all of the awards collectively of the group, um, you know, for me, it's like you see all those names on paper. It's intimidating. It's exciting. You feel like, okay, I, I'm going to just sort of like be diving into the deep end here. But, you know, you get to set, and I remember even just the first day, our, our table read where we were sort of all assembled. And you know, it all feels really kind of normal, I guess, in a way, you know? It's like we're all just sort of kind of coming together collectively to tell this story, and I think everybody was attracted to the material because it's just so good and, you know, original and unique, and so it, it felt very much like a, a collaboration and, you know, easy just because everybody really wanted to be there and tell this story right. Um, and so for me, it was just about rising to the occasion you know it, when you're working with people at that level you have no choice but to be really focused and you know just breathe life into a, a character it's it's a gift to get a you know a great role so you want to just do it justice in this film uh, jk simmons had a, a great quote talking about ben affleck's character he said and i'm quoting here almost more badass than batman <laughs> Would you agree or disagree? You know, I, I like both of those characters. And, you know, this character to me is just really interesting because it just feels really unique and it feels grounded in a reality that you can kind of relate to it. You know, Batman is sort of larger than life and iconic and cool. But I think with the accountant, with Christian Wolf, you know, you're you're sort of relating to him in this very human accessible way, you know? I mean, even though it's still cinematic and it is a, a film, I think there's something that you see in him that you can kind of, you know, really relate to and, and you might even know someone like this, aside from all of the action stuff, of course. Right, right. And I just think he does a really nuanced sort of portrayal of this very unusual hero and protagonist for, for a movie. When you get ready for a role, you pour yourself into it. I was checking things out here. Uh, for Spartacus, I've read you were training with Navy SEALs, Special Forces, and also did some sword training, uh, which proves you can handle your business on many <laughs> yeah. levels. Uh, how much does something like that help you get ready for a movie like this where you have to bring everything physically and mentally? You know, it's, it's a nice opportunity to sort of gain a set of skills that for other areas of my life I wouldn't necessarily need. Yeah, if you're lucky enough to sort of have an immersive experience creatively, I mean, that for me is is the most fun. You know, you just sort of get to lose yourself, even learn a little bit about yourself. You know, you have permission when you're exploring a character to explore yourself and, and question your own sort of motivations and um, just grow as an actor and an artist and a person. Training with those special forces and SEALs, do you have a little extra swag and bounce to your step now in your day-to-day -day <laughs> life? Can that help you get Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like I, I never in a million years, a lot of the projects I've worked on and, and some of the things I've, you know, been asked to do or prepare, you know, the ways I prepared, I never dreamed I would do. So um, there's still room in life to, to surprise oneself, and I think that's important.